We are still digging for answers as to why some services at Fort Wayne's VA hospital were abruptly paused on Tuesday. Yesterday, we caught up with a man who is trying to unseat Congressman Marlon Stutzman. And today, News Channel 15's Megan Royce to talk exclusively with the congressman, who is actually the vice chair of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs. So does he know, Megan, how long the intensive care unit and the medical unit will be closed? Well, Mark and Heather, Marlon Stutzman isn't 100% sure when those units will reopen, but seems to think within the next four weeks. Now, I found this document yesterday. It's the Inspector General's report on the hospital. I asked Stutzman if this has anything to do with the pause in services. This report was just released Wednesday outlining issues in care given to veterans at the Fort Wayne VA Hospital. One doctor in particular letting patients leave too early and staff not properly trained on respiratory care. I brought it to Congressman Stutzman and asked if it has anything to do with the temporary pause in some inpatient services. I'm going back to Washington for a day, going to try to find out some of those answers. Hopefully uh, there's, you know, again, it's communication problems and we consistently find that with the VA. But uh, we're not going to just back down and we're demanding answers. Stutzman says the hospital is working on correcting a couple of issues. They are just trying to, to do some new uh, training issues. They had some training issues and they also had um, a couple of other uh, small issues that they're dealing with. So I hope this is just a small hiccup, but we're keeping a very close eye on this. He says no forewarning was given due to a communication breakdown. They've had uh, some changeover in administration there, and I think that that's going to help in the long term, but we're still developing those relationships. Uh, yes, always wish that they would communicate with us much sooner. Stutzman says the ICU and ACU should be back up and running within the next four weeks. We're going to continue to communicate with them so we know that if things like this are going to come up, that they notify us and veterans before it just uh, is dropped in our lap. Stutzman says it's his top priority to make sure veterans get proper care. And new at 6, hear what Stutzman said will be added to this VA hospital right here in Fort Wayne. Okay, thank you, Megan.